This is the four hole challenge. We're here at Hallamshire Golf Club and today I'm joined by one of the best golfers in the world. It's Matt Fitzpatrick. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks, Val. Yeah, you, you up for this? Yes, looking forward to it. You're yeah. going to pull my pants down completely? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I've got home course advantage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and you're some, one of the best golfers in the world. Maybe, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, if you're new to the uh, channel, uh, subscribe, click the notification buttons on, and just give us a like. Let's go. Four. That'll that'll do. That'll work. That'll be fine there. <laughs> Tease yours. Tease yours. Uh, 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 that was the four hole challenge. Thanks for having me. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Right, Semi, it's okay. It'll play. Straight? Yeah, yeah, it'll play. We'll find it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my arse went. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, really appreciate you joining me on the old oh. four-hole challenge. Um, normally I ask, uh, you know, what your handicap is and how long you've been playing for, but uh, <laughs> you're one of the best players in the world, so there's no point in asking your handicap. But how long have you been playing golf for? Uh, I joined this club when I was nine, so um, yeah, 25 now, so six, 16, yeah. 16 years probably. Um, I mean, started playing competitively away from my club when I was about 14, 15, so yeah, 10 years competitively really. And what age did you realise, hang on, I'm pretty damn good? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, when I was 17, I won the uh, British Boys, which was like a big junior junior tournament and uh, that kind of put me in good stead for, for a few other things, gave me opportunity to go to college and, and stuff like that and I think from then I realised that you know I was, I was alright, I could sort of hold my own and, and uh, have some good results so yeah, sort of took it from there really. But That's when you it. first hit a ball you are like, zing, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Uh, not quite but like, I'd always had good hand-eye co coordination, played tennis, football, you know, yeah. everything else. I have to admit this is the shortest walk to a first tee ball <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking we're still going to walk, but then I remembered, oh no, it just went there. <laughs> so I can get the three out. It's all right, we'll find it again. There we go, little roller down. <laughs> hit it, find it again, hit it. That's, that's all you need to do. And then, Matt, you went to um, college, didn't you? Yes. And went, the I ain't having this, and sacked it <laughs> yeah, off, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, well, basically, yeah. Um, Is that yeah. because you knew you had a future no, in golf? No, I mean, <clears throat> when, I, when I signed up in 2012 to go for four years, I definitely had the intention of doing four years, getting a degree, you know, something to fall back on. That was always my mum and dad's sort of way of doing it, really, you know, just in case the golf didn't work out. Um, so I did that, went to school, but just before I went to school, I qualified for the for the Open uh, as an amateur, um, and then uh, then won the US Amateur, which gave me invites to three of the majors the following year. So um, all the all of a sudden, all these doors had opened, and I couldn't really couldn't really turn them down. So uh, see you later, school. So yeah, so I was like, yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks for that's coming. It. Thank you, but uh, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> that's incredible. So, in in yeah. 2014, you turned pro. Yes. It's gone pretty well so far for it, you, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so far so good. So far so good. It's, uh, you know, I've, I've had a, quite a few good seasons now and, um, you know, it doesn't doesn't always work out like that. But, yeah. uh, you know, hopefully just sort of keep on, keep on playing well and, and uh, yeah, keep keep on this current curve. What's been the highlight? Uh, highlight, probably winning the DP World Championship in 2016 yeah. in Dubai. That, that's like my biggest win. Um, to date and it was just yeah it was it was a pretty pretty special one uh, for me like I had family there and stuff as well so an absolute good. ching ching and yeah that was a nice little bonus yeah <laughs> can you give us some tips yeah hit yeah. Uh, hit down on it more hit down uh, yeah yeah I, yeah yeah hit down hit down on it a little bit more when you say you hit down on it I'm not being trying take to be a funny. bit more take more take a bit more well, so go, go into we'll just try and take a bit more of a divot yeah yeah stance all right yeah all good yeah. I like that. There you go. Like that. 
bit more airborne. That'll do well, that. that go the... on. Go on. Go on, then. Go on, then. Front edge. <laughs> yes. He's back in it. Yes. He's back in it. I've got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I see you using that now. You're yeah. not allowed to take that, are you, when you're in competition? No. Why not? I don't know, to be honest. It's, uh, we, we should be allowed, really. Uh, but I, I would, I prefer not using it because the books, the yardage books that we get, yeah. tells us all sorts, the green, like how what big the green is, wide it is, what it is to the front bunkers. Uh, whereas that, you know, I'm just sapping the flag. I don't know how many the flag is on. Whereas, you know, this flag now, it says 161. Yeah. But I don't know what, what it is to the front. Whereas, oh, okay. so like this shot here, I'd be like 161. I want to pitch it 158. 158 with the wind is probably playing 170, 172. Wow. And then like you work it out from there. But like, if you don't have the front number, then you don't know if that flag's only three yards on, then I can't pitch it five yeah. yards short. You, you know, do you know what I mean? It's so before a round of golf, how much goes into working all this stuff out with you and your caddy? Uh, a fair amount in practice, um, particularly if you've not seen a course before. Yeah, uh, we'll go. You know, we'll get the yardage book and get the lines off the tee, and um, you know where you where you can't miss it to the green. So, like to that flag, yeah, we'd be saying, okay, well, don't go in the bunkers on the left because that's a really tough up and down because you've not got any room. Whereas yeah. if you miss it right, you've got loads of room to chip back. So, right. just lots of like crosses and stuff like that in the book and um that's about it really yeah. is it true sometimes you guys actually do aim for the bunker because it's easier yeah than yeah, yeah definitely yeah 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 i mean not maybe not quite as drastic as that um if i'm in like in the shit, then yes yeah. i will um but like it's very rare that well not no it's not really rare but that where you go okay i'm gonna go straight at the pin <laughs> it's always two yards left three yards right or whatever it is that's crazy. Yeah. Right, what are you doing with this one then? Uh, I don't know yet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm just going to try and hit a little 7 iron in there. Go. Go. Sit. Wow, this is the best I've played this hole in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute joy to watch. <laughs> Gee. So good. So good. So that was a uh, uh, iron off the uh, fairway. The driver was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> You've not seen me put yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, well, that's the question. What is the strongest part of your game? Uh, this year, it's probably been my driving and my iron play. Yeah. Um, Everything before that, it's normally been my putting has been my, my strongest strongest point in my game. But uh, change a couple of things this year just to try and be better. Like with my my practice, a lot of guys who go on tour, they'll just hit balls. You know, I'm going to go to the range and they'll just hit to the same target over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you've seen like trapmans and stuff like that. Yeah, of course, I, yeah. I've got one of those. So we 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 play like a lot of games where. It, just spits out random numbers, might be 175, and I've got to try and hit it that 175, you know. That's cool. Um, so it's just creating, making it a little bit more random and rather than just sort of monotonous hitting, hitting balls over yeah. and over. Because um, that doesn't really, uh, I mean, it's good to, to get a feeling and it's good for warming up, but yeah. well, it doesn't really, you don't improve much. Yeah. So. And how often do you practice? Uh, I'll practice. Well, I mean, I'll practice six, seven days a week, really. Um, I won't practice as much when I'm back here because the facilities aren't as good as they are where, where I live in yeah, Florida. You live in America, yeah, yeah. And, and the weather. Um, but I'll still do I'll still do bits every other day at least, yeah. uh, whether it's chipping, putting, whatever. So. What's so much better about America? Uh, yeah. the, the weather where where I live, the, the weather is the big thing. Yeah. Um, you know, the weather is just is so perfect every day um, and the facilities are, are amazing you know they've got where I play this small par 3 course you can hit any shot you want um, bunkers everywhere the greens are really good condition you know like my if you compare this green the first green here to the chipping green over there I mean yeah. that's like putting through the rough you know <laughs> and, that, and that, that's like putting on a green yeah, yeah. and 
and and that's like the difference it's just over here nothing's kept like not tournament condition but golf course condition yeah, yeah. the practice facilities aren't kept like that but the golf course is yeah um so you just got to try and find ways to get around it really and if you get bored you go to disneyland exactly yeah exactly <laughs> get on harry, an hour get, up the road get yeah. on harry potter <laughs> <laughs> so 56 you want to pitch it about three yards short of the green right and it should bounce and release so with this shot yeah i've got to keep my legs close together closer yeah, together yeah just whatever's comfortable i'll go like that and then it's sort of like a motion you don't need to have it as far back in your stance so you can go the, move shuffle this way yeah. there you go not 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 that much you like that perfect yeah perfect and it's like a it's like a pendulum isn't it yeah it's exactly that yeah. exactly that yeah that was good go Oh, that was almost a little heavy, but it was, hey. it was all right. It was all right. Good putt. Go on. Oh, oh. good putt. Woo. Warming up, Ted. Warming up. <laughs> In or out, sir? Uh, it's out. Oh, good out. Thank you. Thank you very much. What do you think of the new rule? Well. <laughs> I've had it out most of the year, and then these last two months I've had it back in and put it better, so I've been having it in. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's good or not, really. I don't really have an opinion. But if you're firing one down, surely well, it's better. Well, it, yeah, it I agree. That. Well, I, don't I agree what, what do you think the disadvantages are of having it in? I, I don't think there is. No? I don't think there is. Because if it catches the lip, yeah. and it lips out, if it, it'll hit the pin and it won't bounce out, it'll actually, like bounce in yeah whereas i think if it lips if it's there's no flag and it lips that's going over there out. yeah yeah, yeah. I, I genuinely think it's better to have it cool to have it to in but you want it out i'll have it out <laughs> no Ooh. so bad is that all right is that given is that... absolutely yeah <laughs> funny enough matt fitzpatrick one up <laughs> yeah Go. Is it dancing? Uh, just short, I think. Just short. Just on the fringe. That's Go on right. then. That'll do. Get up there. Get up there, boy. Go on. Go on. Yes. <laughs> He's on the dance floor. Yes. <laughs> Come on. I should have given you a wrong club there. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you've played in the Ryder Cup. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you say I played. I played one. I played one game in the foursomes, and then I played the mandatory singles. So I kind of played. <laughs> Mate, but, to, but to be a part of that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. sensational. What you tw twenty-five yesterday? Yes. Happy birthday. Thank but, you. Mate, that's. Man, that's wicked. Yeah, no, it, it, it was an amazing experience. Um, particularly playing in the US as well. The, yeah. the crowds were uh, the crowds were mental. So, um, yeah, in that that aspect of it, it was awesome. You mentioned there the uh, American crowds. Do they get on your tits? <laughs> uh, no. Mashed potato, I mean, yeah. spaghetti <laughs> hoops on toast. All right, mate. <laughs> I, I'm used to it. Uh, a lot of my friends are Americans, so like I kind of I get I get it, but yeah, I probably need to tone it down a little bit to be honest. It's a little bit over the top. But some of them, like I heard one, I thought it's so disrespectful, but it's 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 really funny. <laughs> he just went, he just went spam. I'm like, <laughs> it's not even an American thing. I was like, but do, uh, do you I've think heard all sorts. What go on? What have you? What's the best oh, one you've heard? Non repeatable. Oh, non really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I say all sorts, I'm going, I'm be talking about maybe a little bit more aggressive than uh, uh, probably. Well, mainly at the Ryder Cup. Um, Did that actually get aggressive? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, there was a few. There was a few. Of the one I played that that got a little bit out of hand. Yeah, yeah. What, as in like personal? Personal, like, yeah. No, nothing towards me. No. I got, I got two good ones. I got, does your mum cut your hair? I got that one. Right. And then the other one I got was, I was eating a sandwich and it was like, did your mum cut the crust off those? So I was like... What did you say yeah. to that? I, I, I um, just laughed. No, 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 I, was, no, no. I just laughed. I was like, 
Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't really get what, what the point of it. But then Polts is just yeah. probably probably getting Polts it, yeah. definitely, yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, they, uh, safe to say they hate him for being so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mum cut your hair? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, what? It's a bell to that one, isn't it? <laughs> Sit down. Ooh. Sit down. Oh dear. You could have let me in here, Matt. Oh dear. <laughs> if I beat you, just one hole, my golfing career's finished. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm retiring. Easy. Go on. Easy. Oh! I'll give you that. Yes? This for the half then. Alan Parr. <laughs> Come on! I'll leave it in though this time. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Try now. Right, potentially. I've got to try now. I could be beating one of the top 40 golfers in the world on his own course. One hole. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'll take that all back. That is top, top class. Oh. Sorry, Jubes. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly beat him. The score currently, Matt Fitzpatrick won up, but I did get a pass, so I'm happy with that. Up and over. Did you hit that low on purpose? Uh, not that low. I was trying to hit it low, yeah, but not that low. So how, how many different types of shots are there? Because I'm just happy yeah. if, I, if I go <laughs> straight, straight, whether it go along the floor. Uh, high, there's high, there's high draw, high fade. You name it, there's, there's any. I mean, as we saw in the first tee, those guys in front. Yeah. And it, you name a shot, <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. That was, that, that was just called crap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, there's there's loads. I mean, I, I'll play probably a handful around. Not not a lot. Yeah. I, I don't want to. You don't want to stray away from doing what you, you you're good at almost. And how how are you coming into the ball differently? So for a low one, I it's a, it's just a feeling for me. But I just feel like um, my hands are more ahead of the ball at right. impact. Yeah. But that's just a feeling. It doesn't actually happen. Right. Um, not as drastic as it feels anyway. Oh, okay. uh, and then if I want to hit it high, I just feel like I lean lean back a little bit, but keep my weight on my left. Because right. sometimes when people try to hit it high, they lean back and then fall back. Right, got and you. And then that's why it goes. So is it like trying to, are you either striking a ball or chipping a ball sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've taken a lot of uh, the golf stuff into into my football stuff. So when yeah. I, you know, I've taken corners from the right, I just want to fade one, just cut it across a little yeah. bit more, you know. <laughs> Bums my balls that. have uh, they've they've got a lot better since I started playing better at golf. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> my crossing ability. <laughs> Good strike. Is that too Come much? Back. Come back. Come uh, back. Be alright, won't it? That's okay. Yeah, Ooh. it's in bounds. It's in bounds. All right. Take that. Come on. <laughs> when you're playing in the Ryder Cup, um, obviously the one you played in didn't go too well yeah, for yeah, Europe. Yeah. But are people? Are there, is there a lot of Sort of banter flying around the locker well, rooms I and mean, stuff like that. When I when I played, uh, the games I played amongst each player, there, there wasn't anything. Oh, when the, the games that I saw and stuff, there wasn't anything like between the U European and American teams. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard other stories in the past of, you know, one player told me he he had a putt from say 10, 10 foot. Yeah. And the other guy had to put the US guy had to put from eight foot, ten foot went Europeans went first, missed. The US guy went second, hold. Yeah. And walk into the next, he sort of like tapped him, he's like, Oh thank thanks for the read there, like you gave me that like you know, just oh, give really? me a read. Yeah. Sort of like sledging yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, basically. Thanks for read, appreciate that, whatever. Yeah, but so for that sort of like long weekend. Do the players really dislike each other? Like the Euro I think Europe? they I would say so, yeah. I mean I, I I was always like it when I played Sunday League football. I wanted to hate. I wanted to hate the, you know, the opposition. Yeah. Um, 
I played Zach Johnson, who was actually really, really nice. So it was really hard yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But you, so. you're a good player out here, football wise. Football, I, I can hold my own. Yeah. Now, yeah. come on, yeah, come yeah. on. Well, I'm going when on Soccer AM for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, so I, I can't, so we got him on top I, bin. I can't, uh, yeah, I can't be bragging too much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I played Sunday League up until I was about 15. I uh, played for school. Um, we had a good school team, actually. One of our mates, he's gone on to, to play professionally. He played for Forest Green. He's currently at Stevenage. So, yeah. um, Who is it? Paul Digby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And what position were you? Uh, I played centre half really centre half yeah I know it comes from left field that, no, doesn't it? no yeah. nonsense no just I just read the game very well and um, what bit Baresi like just, uh, who Franco Baresi you're too young aren't I you I mean come on I know a lot of footballers and I know a lot about football but I've never heard of him Franco Baresi <laughs> no. AC Milan absolute legend no never basically heard of a, ball, him. a ball playing centre back yeah yeah, uh, yeah I, I would I would put myself down as that yeah uh, who's the good players good football players good on football the golf players tour, yeah. on tour uh, Sergio Garcia. Yeah. Sergio loves football. I have to admit, there's not many like proper football fans on tour. No. They say they say they are. They they give it the big one like, oh yeah, that's what that's what Arsenal like. Never go to any games. No. Or, you know, oh, sport that's what whoever. Because yeah. Rory's United, isn't he? Yeah. Is he one of those? It's just yeah. I love Rory, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, for, he goes for all of them. He yeah. goes for all of them. We've got a seven iron. What do you yeah, reckon? that'll do. All good, Gaffer. Might not get there, but. <laughs> do you think I should be going for? Or because it... I mean, if you you want to win the four hole challenge, <laughs> it's up to you. Three woods to play, but <laughs> you'd hit a three wood from there. Well, I mean, you would hit a three wood. I <laughs> wouldn't hit a three wood. <laughs> if I hit three wood, I'd be over in the trees. <laughs> I was going to lay up. Yeah. Lay up then? Yeah. <laughs> I've come off. I'm completely gone. Well, you've got some big tournament to play, and I'm just attacking, man. Give it! Oh. Come on! He's Matty it. Fitzpatrick! <laughs> it's left. It's alright. It'll play. And you are, of course, a Blades fan. Yes, I am. Back in the to Premier your League. your dismay of the oh, weekend. Mate, I've got to say, I was at, <laughs> at Stamford Bridge. Uh, last week, two all, and second half, you're unbelievable. Yeah. Were you there? You know, you're, you're a no, I wasn't. I was watching. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was watching it on uh, some dodgy stream. Yeah. <laughs> Sky Sports. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but you must be buzzing. You're back in the Premier League. Oh yeah, it's it's been amazing. It's been an amazing three years really since since Chris Wilder took the job. Um, I mean, I said it at the start. My caddy got a video of me saying it. it. Even if we were at the, even if we we're at the bottom three, in the bottom three or even bottom maybe, yeah. like by Christmas, I still, you know, the fans still wouldn't turn on him. I don't think. No, I mean, what he's done, I really don't think they, will, they love him, and and rightly so. He's, you know, he's, he's. I mean, he's just transformed us. He's the best manager we've ever had. So yeah. you know, it's it's a no, it's a no-brainer. But for me, he looks like he's absolutely no nonsense because the week, oh, yeah. a few weeks back when you didn't work, but he just came on, didn't yeah, he? he? Was like, yeah, no, yeah. Oh useless, no, he, he doesn't doesn't mess around. He, he and I think that's another thing why why he's so great. He, he says it how it is, and and if you like it or not, then you, you'll be out of the team. Yeah. You know, and and that's the way it should be. Uh, and he plays football. It's not like the football is good. That's time for The football is yeah, amazing. We, we play good, and I think. Like no disrespect to Chelsea, I think that was the thing they came on and said afterwards. Both Wilder and our left back said that we showed Chelsea a bit too much respect, and I think you know I don't think you should be showing respect to anyone. You no, know, no, you should be not, putting your foot on the ball, taking your time. Not that I know, I've you know I've never played the <laughs> Premier League, like, but um, but yeah, I think I think I think we'll do okay. Yeah, do you think you'll stay up? Yeah, I think we will. I think you yeah. will as well. I think we will. I think there's three other teams worse than us around. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And 
Do you know any of the boys? Do you know? I do. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten to know a few of them um, quite well. Yeah, fairly well, and I know Chris fairly well as well. So you know the gaffer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he play? He does. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah. Really? I've not played with him yet. I'm supposed to play with him uh, the week before. Play Watford away. It's like it's only like three weeks. Now. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine Chris Wilder as your caddy? <laughs> Just like that. Oh you hear a shot. That was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my current caddy anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Billy true. straight to the point. So move it, move it back in your stance. Yeah. So no, no, other way, other way. Move it. So, so like more like that. Like that. Yeah. There you go. A bit more. Keep going that way. There you go. All right. Now you should just you'll you'll really, fire yeah? it in a bit lower. Yeah, yeah under the wind a bit more go a little, little bit more yeah that's it that'll do that feels really it will feel alien. weird so what keep, just... keep your hands keep your hands forward as well yeah so like there you go like that yeah and you fire it in a bit lower F full pelt no not full pelt no. but like little pitch you know little, little, little yeah. chip 76 yards it's a little pitch a bit more like than that, that yeah yeah that's good this is also. Awesome. But don't keep your hands. Keep put your hands by you like your left. There you go. That's like that. Better. Yeah. There you go. Hands further forward. Perfect. Mate, that's crazy. He's all right, but... Thanks for that. <laughs> no worries. Go, go, go. Brilliant. <laughs> Same thing you just taught me. No, it? no, no, no. This one's different. Just so I... you want it a little bit more off your front foot. There you go. Uh, but then lean the shaft back a little. So like, I'll uh, show you set up and yeah. you try a copy. So it's like it needs to be a bit more like that. Hands a little bit behind behind the head. Okay. Yeah. So that way or the other way. The other way. Oh there you right. go. Go. There you go. There you go. And then with it. Just yeah. take the ground, like really take the ground. Take a practice swing, obviously. So, but just take the ground, yeah. But right. more back, have it more, like more off. There, you, there you go. Because what people do, yeah, is like I'll show you. Sorry. Yeah. What people do is when they want to hit it high, they open it up. Right. But they open it up and go forward, and then they go that way, and then right. it falls off and goes right and never goes the distance. Yeah. Whereas if you have it back, and then just do not, you know, it still says the same. It doesn't fall right, off okay. so have it a little bit further back and then but you can hit this hard I mean yeah. you're, you're aiming miles yeah left. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're good there you're good yes perfect yes <laughs> you're the go. man there love it stay up oh, oh. you bah. this is for three pars in a row in or out sir uh, it's alright in yeah thank you Three pars. Just. I've lost. <laughs> Matt Fitzpatrick's two up, but I'm having such a good laugh. Can we crack on? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Love it. <laughs>
yeah, Serious? football all day. Yeah, I could watch football every day and play football. Uh, you know, I, I miss it so much, like not playing now and stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely football. So, if you could have been a professional footballer over a professional golfer, that I don't know. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I mean, having been lucky enough to be in the position to meet other footballers and you know, obviously be a golfer myself, I think. Yeah, I think golf is probably a better profession. I, I think anyway. Um, is that because of lifestyle? Uh, maybe or? I think maybe lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just just the things I've you know heard about the way the footballing world is. The, the good thing about golf is it's it's solely on you. Uh, you know, you can uh, you play well, you get rewarded. Whereas as a footballer, obviously you have got to get picked by the manager. And a good friend of mine, he, he's he's been a pro for a while now, uh, and. You know, he's had a few managers that just don't seem to, to want to pick him and, and that makes his life tough, so. Really? But is it quite cutthroat in golf? Like, because obviously you're competing, you know, with yourself. Does everyone get on well or is it all a bit like... Uh, it, it, because not everyone in the football team gets on well, do no, they? No, 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 not all, no. I mean, it, it varies. Like, I think in the US, the guys are a little bit more keep themselves to themselves, the yeah. US guys. Uh, in Europe, it's definitely a bit more... Uh, cliquey isn't the right word, but like, you know, I know the South Africans are all really good friends, the Swedish are all really good friends, you know, they all go out for dinner. Um, and I think that's like sort of the, the big thing really is it, in Europe, guys are probably more close than they are, are in, in, than the Americans. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I wouldn't say there's any like aggressive people no. don't like so-and-so. I think they deep down they do, but no one says it to yeah. anyone's face, obviously. Yeah, of course. What's yeah. Tiger like? Is he all right? Tiger's, a, yeah, he's a nice guy. Is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've heard, been looking up to play I, with him. I heard you can't look into his eyes. Is this true? <laughs> I don't know about that. Really? I've never never done that. No. <laughs> Sounds a bit romantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't look into my eyes, Tiger. Yeah, exactly. No, but he's all right, um, is he? Yeah, yeah, he, he actually uh, gave me a bit of this year. Um, we were playing at the, at the Players' Championship, uh, and... Uh, he was sort of, we were just talking about all sorts of stuff and then we were walking down this one hole and he was like, hey Matt, turned around I was like, what? He was like, have you started shaving yet? What? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, yeah I have, thank you very much. <laughs> you, you. You, got, you got to take your cap off, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said that, yeah. <laughs> I should have said that, yeah. So, but no, he's always been pleasant to me. So, yeah. yeah, it's cool. But you can look into his eyes. I, I'll, I'll see you next time I see him. I'll ask him. <laughs> Please <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah. Just go. Tube. Can I look into your eyes? Tube. Wonder see if Who I can look into your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah, that'll be all right. That. <laughs> Be all right. Be all right. That. It's good about. How far do you reckon that's gone? Uh, forty maybe. It's downwind, downhill. Three, four. Rock hard as well. So I'm not going to big myself up here, <laughs> mate. That. Can I? Can, I'm not being disrespectful here. No, no, no. But you're not the biggest of guys, are you? No, no. How are you hitting that ball that far? Well, I mean, well then it, it is downwind, downhill. But like, I do. I basically spent some time with. Uh, it's a bit boring, but by no. by a mechanist like earlier this year, and he told me like a couple of ways to get a faster swing speed, basically. Um, so that literally, it's as simple. Or this is for me personally. Yeah. It's as simple as feeling like I take a normal backswing. Yeah. And then the way down, it feels like I'm going to hit a draw, so the club will go out because the club goes out that way and it's going away from you. You can create more speed. Right. But then to get the club back in a normal position you got to fire your hips so it fe exaggerated it feels like this so I go like that and then my hips are going like really hard so then Gee. the club drags left and that picked me up about five miles an hour of speed which equates to like 15 yards. Who hits it the furthest on tour? Uh, a kid called Cameron Champ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 192 ball speed. 192 miles an hour ball speed. Ridiculous. It's a joke. Do you know what they call me? What? Cameron Champ. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a ripper. He's finally shaking off the nerves. Oh. That's a great drive. <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing with that. Yeah, that's a great way. drive. Come on. 29th yeah. in the yeah, world yeah. currently. Yeah. The aim is to be number one. Yeah. 
Are you confident getting there? Uh, I don't know about confident, but like I think I think I think I probably could. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, look, Luke, Luke Donald is uh, is a good example. We've we've got similar games in terms of, you know, we we both don't hit it the furthest off the tee, but we make up for it in in other areas basically. And obviously, Luke got to world number one with some amazing performances. And um, you know, if I work hard enough and do the right things, I don't see why I can't do the same, really. Absolutely. Because so, yeah. you're only 25, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah. What's, what's an age? What, you know, when's retirement for a golfer, do you think? When do you go, uh, I'm, I, I can't hit the ball anymore, I'm, I mean, I'm a bit... I mean, I would say 45. I mean, 45, there's guys going, you know, into the 50s. Yeah. Um, but I think for me personally, having been around now for five five years and sort of seeing what it's all about, you know, 45 is kind of a nice nice number to retire at. I mean, it depends how well I'm playing. If I'm really peaking at that, that time in my, my life, <laughs> then I'll keep to 45, playing. You're the and then one, I peak, <laughs> exactly, exactly. All of a sudden it's a bit different, but, um, you know, I, I, I genuinely don't really want to play on the I mean, right now I'm telling you this, but, you know, once I get to 60, it could be different, but yeah. I don't want to be playing senior tour and stuff like that. I want to sort of, you know, do other things yeah, that I've probably not done. Um, Travel up and really. down the country watching yeah. Sheffield United. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. But you, give, you know, if, if you're saying you're going to um, retire at 45, you've got 20 years to get that spot of number one best yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, 20, 20 years to pull my finger out, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, I must, I must have helped you today. with. Oh, obviously. definitely, I've learned a lot. I've really <laughs> learned a lot. I've learned that it was the shortest walk I've ever had off the first tee at my home golf club. Uh, it was a lovely walk, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I'm happy with this. It's good. That's a shot. That is a good, that is a good drive. I'd take that. Yeah. I know a lot of people would. Lovely stuff. Any tips of use in a hybrid? Uh, no, just swing it normal. Yeah? So yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Just take, take a divot again. Take a divot with a hybrid? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Or try to, anyway. Good. Get up. Take that. That's all right. That'll play. That's, that's going. That's good, that. That's absolute little runner. Go on, you little dancer. <laughs> There's a question I ask, Matt, to everyone on the old four-hole challenge. <laughs> if you could have a caddy, anyone in the world, past or present, to be your caddy for the day, who would it be? Uh, I'd have to go with, Lion with Lionel Messi. I think that would be... I think that'd be quite interesting to really pick his brain and you know speak to him about everything that he's done <laughs> so if you could ask him a question Lionel Messi what would you ask him well it's pretty obvious why, why are you so good <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean you know everything about his balance and his touch and everything it's it's just ridiculous isn't it he's he's just like a magician with the ball yeah. oh, it's a joke. <laughs> so. best player ever I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. Do you think there'll ever be a better player than Lionel Messi? Uh, it's hard to see. It really is. It is, you know, him and Ronaldo both obviously done so many amazing things, and I think, yeah, Messi's just different class. He's got it all. I think. Yeah. They've got nothing on Billy Sharp, though, have they? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I'd have Billy Sharp every day of the week. <laughs> He bangs what? in them, bangs them in left, right, and centre every league. What a career, though. Yeah, absolutely. And you're playing. Uh, later this week with him, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is he any good? He's all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he can he can hold his own. He's better than me. He did it further off first. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Lionel Messi, can you imagine him on your bag? That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Be just like Lionel. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see this one, Lionel? Right to left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Lionel. Yeah, yeah. It's just saying seven iron. Good lad. <laughs> Crack on. Where's your ball, uh, by the way? It's back here. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Go hard. Oh, it might work. It might work. <laughs> we'll see. You are a joke. <laughs> you seriously are a joke. Go. Oh. Go. Not hard enough. Nah. More speed, more speed. I oh, will get there. I will get there. I haven't covered myself in glory, but my putting's been alright. Yeah, your putting has been yeah. solid, yeah, I'll give you that. Oop. One. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Sit down, come on, come sit, on, down come on. sit down, sit oh, down, sit down. Too much. Rubbish. Oh. Halfway. Four pars for Fitzpatrick. This is a par five, so this is birdie actually. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, easy par five, isn't it? It's too short. Birdie? You've got to do the birdie dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've done that for me. You've done that for me. <laughs> that was the four hole challenge. That was Matt Fitzpatrick. That was absolutely class, mate. Thanks. Thanks so much, Thank mate. Thank you. Good fun. Thanks so much. Good fun. Unbelievable.